just going to give you a bit of background on the two gentlemen sitting on the stage um, uh, and, and what we're going to talk about. I was originally going to do a little presentation on disruption. Uh, this is actually, I am also uh, sort of like you sitting in the audience because I am so excited to see this panel. This is, this is fantastic to have two um, uh, people of this caliber on the stage and to end off Next Media. It's just, uh, it's, it's great. And I'll get to it why, because I can see people are like confused with, they seem nice, but I don't see why there's any problems. So what, uh, what I want to do first, I just want to in, uh, intro um, Eric uh, sitting on my far right, your left. Uh, Eric Klinker is the Chief Executive Officer of BitTorrent Inc., bringing close to two decades worth of networking experience. As a technologist and innovator, Eric joins BitTorrent from his previous post as CTO, that's Chief Technology Officer, and Vice President of Engineering at Internap. Internap? Is that where you yeah. sleep? And terrible, terrible you know, name. Terrible name. Okay, that's I why you're not there. I got it. Okay. God. <laughs> A leading provider of network optimization and content delivery solutions. Previously, Eric worked at uh, NetVMG, uh, Excite at Home, and Naval Research Laboratory. Wow. Army baby. Yes. Yes. Uh, Eric holds a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the Univers University of Illinois, um, Urbana Campaign, and a master's degree in EE. Yes. What's that? Uh, very boring subject, electrical engineering. Electrical engineering from Naval Postgrad School in Monterey, California, and that sets the trend, doesn't it? Because I'm obviously I haven't done my research. I don't know half the things in here. Dave Purdy, on the other hand, is uh, now it's it's also a sort of a battle of North America because Dave's Canadian and Eric is American, right? Well, I, I did spend time in Canada. I, oh, really? I, when I, I, I uh, had some very formative years in Canada. I went to uh, first and second grade in London, Ontario. So, wow. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Promptly, promptly beaten up as soon as I went back to the States for my inability to say the letter Z. So <laughs> it, it was a scarring experience, but nonetheless. And that's what the panel is about today. Uh, Dave Purdy is vice president, not president, and general manager of television products at Rogers Cable. He has an extensive background in television industry and has helped launch... Uh, <laughs> I just told him the story. <laughs> you just told me the story about yeah. how they launched the networks of OLN. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Including Discovery Channel Canada, Comedy Network, OLN Canada, Rogers Sportnet, uh, Sportsnet. In addition to his extensive media knowledge, Mr. Purdy has been instrumental in launching a number of new products at Rogers Cable Inc., including interactive television, VOD, FOD, SVOD, HD, PRV, Switch Digital, and over 100 channels into the Canadian market. And, and in a desperate attempt to sound interesting like Eric, I've been secretly working for CSIS for the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Purdy brings a comprehensive knowledge of the media industry to projects that leverage off unique two-way technology of the cable industry. Um, so uh, I wanted to start off really quickly. Um, how many people here understand what peer-to-peer -peer networking is? Oh, thank God. I love Next Media. <laughs> Next week, it's going to be peer-to-peer. -peer. Is that when you talk to your friends? <laughs> no. It's when, forget it. Um, so I, I just want to start off quickly and just get a minute or two from Dave and uh, Eric. I'm going to start with Eric first. Just give us a bit of a, a background on your company and um, what you guys do exactly. Um, and then, uh, Dave, if you wouldn't mind doing the same, I'll maybe jump in and ask you some questions, but let's just get that out of the way first. Sure. No, I think uh, it's a, a very interesting question. The brand BitTorn is... Uh, well, I guess by the audience, judging by the hands, uh, fairly well known. When I normally have a presentation either to the ISP industry or the media industry, uh, I start out with a slide that has uh, the BitTorrent logo and then a picture of Satan and a big equal sign in the middle. Uh, <laughs> because that is often, that is often uh, how, how the company is perceived, and it's a bit of a double-edged sword to say the least. Uh, what are we really? Uh, we are a very small technology company. Uh, we our co-founder, I should say, invented the BitTorrent protocol. And you can think of BitTorrent protocol like the HTTP protocol. It's some sort of this underlying foundation uh, on, on the internet. It's kind of that fundamental. But it was a technology that was very efficient, it turns out, at moving large files for a mass audience. And uh, doing so at very low cost, even. So this has enabled publishers of all varieties uh, to leverage this technology and reach an audience that is, uh, is quite extensive. We have probably over 200 million uh, consumers out there that have downloaded the technology. We track actives. We've long since given up uh, tracking downloads. Probably 50 million active in any given month. And the amount of traffic that's moved is many times the size of the largest CDN 
uh, content delivery network for those uh, uh, that are what the less technical. The CDN? Akamai would be probably the most well-known brand in the CDN space. Uh, it's it's the vendor that you would use to deliver digital uh, content to to an audience. That's the traditional means of, of doing the stuff on the internet. Uh, the How traffic much bigger that we push. Than Akamai, are you? Would you say? Uh, who's bigger? Or, yeah, who's bigger? We probably in a given day move more than Akamai moves in a month. So Dear it's God. it's quite it's quite extensive. Wow, I, I had no idea. Continue. So that's that that's basically what uh, BitTorrent is. It's a technology, and then our challenge as a company is to take that technology and uh, mold it into products that have value to publishers and uh, content uh, owners, as well as uh, consumer electronics manufacturers and et cetera. The entire ecosystem of this uh, digital medium. Dave. Um, my presentations also begin with a picture of BitTorrent and then the devil's horns after that, too. So <laughs> it's funny. It's, uh, my therapist would be so happy that we're on the panel together because he, he says, I have to meet that which I fear, embrace it, and get <laughs> over it. So putting a face to this has been very helpful for me. Dave, I think we, we should stop Dave right now, and, and you need to tell him about the scumbag. <laughs> so I may have referenced... <laughs> BitTorrent customers as scumbags at the last cable show in Washington. May, I may have said people who steal intellectual property are scumbags, but, 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 but not necessarily you, per se. <laughs> um, um, so I, I come from a broadcast and uh, especially channel background, and I ended up, found myself nine years ago uh, at a cable company uh, working on interactive television because I was not going to miss the next dot-com boom. Um, I still haven't rolled out much in the way of interactive TV, but I'm now responsible for video products at Rogers Cable. And about 18, uh, actually really 36 months ago, I realized that being in charge of cable TV was akin to being in charge of the buggy manufacturing plant in 1907. And, and I figured on a personal level, I need to reinvent my career and my brand right <laughs> away. So I stopped calling myself the cable TV guy and started saying I'm an entertainment guy, I'm a multi-platform entertainment guy. I renamed my group the Multi-Platform Entertainment Distribution Group. And we started campaigning for the right to do content deals, not just for linear television stations, but for video on demand and for uh, broadband video. And we started working on a project uh, which was called Broadband Video. And our feeling was that uh, the subscription television business, which at Rogers' cable is about a $1.7 billion business, was going to come under threat somewhere over between the next three to five years. And so I get up every day and try and figure out how I can take that subscription video business that we currently enjoy and continue to have price leverage in the marketplace and build it out and, and make it relevant to customers uh, while they're watching 10 or 20% of their time uh, viewing entertainment now on on Eric's network uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and not paying and, and and not paying and I I actually really don't have a problem with BitTorrent the technology and I certainly don't have a problem with Eric the person uh, yet although we'll see how this next we'll hour see how goes, this goes. <laughs> <laughs> now now that I know he's a Navy SEAL it may, 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 <laughs> may change my approach but um, but uh, but what I, I do uh, what I do worry about is a model where everything is purely ad supported and free and so I, I've, uh, I, I wonder, ponder, and can't help but think that there is a way that we can continue to maintain a subscription revenue stream while we morph into this much more uh, user-dominated world that we're about to enter into. Mm -hmm.